Hello students, welcome to the lesson 9 of the first chapter from the subject Advanced Structural Analysis. In this lesson, we will be solving the problem number 4 from the topic Development of Stiffness Matrix. So, we will see how to develop a stiffness matrix for a given type of problem. <music> So far in the first three problems, what we have seen, we had a beam with a same EI value throughout. Now, but in this problem, if you observe, half of the beam is of 2 EI and the other half of the beam is of the value 3 EI. Okay, so let us call this as coordinate C. So this is a coordinate which is in between the beam and at C you have two degrees of freedom. One is the moment or the rotation which is given as uh, coordinate 1 and other one is the vertical displacement upwards which is given as coordinate 2 and the length of this is 3 by 5 L, the length of this is 2 by 5 L. So, let us see how to solve this problem. Now, first let us see how many degrees of freedom are there. Totally there are 2 degrees of freedom. So, what will happen to your stiffness matrix? What will be the size of your stiffness matrix, it will be 2 into 2. The size of the stiffness matrix is always equal to the degree of freedom, right? So, this will be k11, this will be k12, this will be k21 and k22, okay? Now, let us one by one see how to develop this. So, whenever you are developing a stiffness matrix, you have to do it column wise. So, first let us see to get the elements of first column to get the elements of first column. Now, what we have to do? We have to apply displacement in the first coordinate which is equal to unity and all other coordinates we have to give the displacement as 0. Suppose there are 3 coordinates, delta 3 also will be 0. Here there are only 2 coordinates. So, delta 1 we have to take it as unity or 1 and delta 2 we have to keep it as 0. So, now what is delta 1? It is nothing but the rotation because uh, the first coordinate is a moment here. Okay. So, if we want to see the figure, now you be very careful in this problem. This entire beam is AB, but in between we have a coordinate. So, what will happen? This will be split into two. This will be split into two like this. Okay. So, this end is a hinge. This end is a hinge. This is A. This is C. This is also C. Okay. This is your B. Now, when you are splitting the beam, this becomes hinge. It is a very important point. When you are splitting a beam, this becomes hinge. Now, you observe this. This is going clockwise. So, clockwise means this will lift this, beam, this particular portion upward. So, what will happen? So, this will be lifted up. Right. And how about this? See, for this beam, it is, it is pushing the beam downwards. Okay. So, it will push the beam downwards. So, if you want to apply, I will just write it in a different color. So, this is C clockwise. So, this is your delta 1 which is equal to 1. And this here, this is your delta 1 which is equal to 1. So, basically we are applying a unit rotation at this point C. For this beam, I have written separately. For this beam, I have written separately. So, this is for this beam, what is, this is 2 EI and the length is 3 by 5 L. For this beam, the EI value is 3 EI and the length is 2 by 5 L. Now, because of this rotation, what are the uh, moments and the forces uh, reactions developed? Let us see. Rotation at this end C. So, this is called as a near end. Okay. So, this is your far end and this is also called as your far end. Right. At the near end, the moment developed will be equal to 3 E i by L. Now, what should be the direction? Whatever is the direction in which you are giving rotation, in that direction only your moment will be developed. So, here this will be developed in this direction and here it will be developed in this direction. So, what is the value? This will be 3 E i by L. This also will be 3 E i by L. Now, since the far end is hinged, there will be no moment transfer here. It will not be developed. In no moment will be developed in this particular case. In the previous problems, if you observe, there will be fixity here. So, half of it will be transferred. But here, it will not happen like that. Because the far end is hinged, here also the far end is hinged, there will be no moment transfer. But, along with that, 
both reactions will be developed in opposite direction so this is moving upward right so here there will be a reaction upward reaction which will be equal to 3 ei by l square so if this is upward here it will be downward this will also be equal to 3 ei by l square this actually is not required only this and this will be required for us because ordinates if you observe are only at t right similar to that see this is again coming down so there will be a vertical reaction here 3 ei by l square and this will be a upward vertical reaction 3 ei by l square hope you have understood so whenever we are splitting a beam that becomes a hinge and at the near end near end it will be 3 ei by l suppose this far end is a fixed half of it will, will be transferred but because it is not fixed it is a hinged here no moment transfer will be there and throughout the beam there will be two reactions at both the ends it will be opposite to each other but same value okay this is what you have to remember right now let us uh, calculate the k values so what will be your k11 the k11 will be the we are giving unit displacement or rotation at coordinate 1 and because of that what is the force developed in coordinate 1 See now, this is also point C. This is also point C. At point C only, your coordinate one is there. So this is the first coordinate is a moment. So what is the moment developed here? Three e i by L. Here, what is the moment developed? Here also it is three e i by L. This is clockwise. This is also clockwise. Now this three e i by L will have a different value. This three e i by L will have a different value. So what does that mean? See, this three e i by L is for the beam length A C. Okay. And the other three e i by l will be for the beam length c b. Okay, why we have to write differently? Because e i value is different and length value is different. We have to write it differently. Now do the substitution. Three into e i and e i is how much for this span? Two e i by three by five l. Okay, here it will be what? Three into three e i by 2 by 5 l. Now, what will be the value? This 3 and this 3 will get cancelled. It will be 10 e i by l. Here, it will be 9. So this will be 9. This if i goes on the denominator, so it will be 45 by 2 e i by l. So in total, if we take the LCM and solve it, the LCM will be 2 l. So this will be 20 EI plus 45 EI. So that's coming up to 65 EI by 2L. So this value is your K11. Okay. Now similar to that, we need to also find K. Let's do it here. We need to find K2. K to one. What is the meaning of this? We are giving unit displacement at one, and because of that, what is the force developed in the coordinate two direction? Now, coordinate two is a vertical displacement. So here, whatever vertical values are there, we need to sum them up. See, this one is an upward reaction. Here also, the coordinate is upward, so this will be plus. This one is a downward reaction, and the coordinate is upward, so this value will be taken as minus. So what will we get? We will get three e i. By L square, this is for the beam length AC minus. See, this is upward. As I told you, this is upward, so that will be plus. This will be minus minus three E I by L square for the beam length AB. Now, since E I values are different and L values are different, we need to substitute that. So, what will we get? This will be three into two E I. By L is how much? Three by five L whole square. So in place of L, you are substituting three by five. Here it will be what? Three into three E I because E I value is three here by L value. That is two by five of L whole square. So if you simplify that further, you will get fifth. C E I by 3 L square here, and you will get 225 E I by 4 L square. So 
So on taking LCM and simplifying it, we will get minus 475 Ti by 12 L square. You can do this directly in the calculator, okay? Simplification. 5 by 3 minus 225 by 4 is to do. You will get in decimals. So just uh, if it is a new calci, um, latest calci, you just have to uh, type. If it's a new calci, you just have to type. SD, uh, you will get again in fractions. So, this will be the fraction you will get minus 475 by 12 will be the fraction which you will get. Okay. So, this is what K21 that minus 475 EI by 12 L square. So, this is your K11 first column first element. This is your first column second element. Okay. Now, Similarly, we need to do for the second column, okay, to get the elements of second column, we need to see now. So, to get the elements of second, now what we have to do here to get second column element, we need to apply unit displacement in the direction of second coordinate, but whereas all the other coordinates will be 0. So, delta 1 will be 0 and at delta 2, we need to apply unit displacement. So, this is a vertical displacement. So, we need to apply a vertical displacement. So, what will happen in that case? Uh, this is a hinge up to here. This is your point C. So, this has to be displaced vertically to this point. So, how it will happen? Like this. This is a hinge. So, there will be uh, a theta value here. Okay. Now, in that case, there will be moment developed as well as the reactions developed. So, moment will be developed only at the near end where you are applying displacement. Now, how is, uh, how is that you are applying displacement? Let us see. So, this is your displacement. That is your delta 2 equal to 1. Now, this is the portion AC. So, this is the portion AC. So, this will be your C dash. Similarly, what will happen? So, what will happen to your portion CB? This is your portion B. So, what will happen to CB? CB will be like this. Again, your, so this is your delta 2 equal to 1. This is your C dash. C, this will be your B. So, this portions are there. Now, now what are the moments developed? Let us see. So, in this case, again, only moment will be developed at the near end where you are, uh, where you are applying your displacement, vertical displacement. But, because it is in here, there will be no moment developed here. So, what is the value of moment developed? So, moment will be 3 EI by 3 EI by L square. Okay, now, why is this clockwise? Because we have to lift this beam up. This is how it is moving. So, that is why it is, should be clockwise. Here, how we should lift the beam? We should lift it like this. So, what will be the direction? Here, it will be anti-clockwise. So, again, 3 EI by L. Again, at the far end, there will be no moment developed because of the vertical displacement at C. Along with this, what reactions will be developed? Now, reactions will be developed at both the places. They will be opposite to each other. Now, here we have to put the beam up. So, this is the reaction developed. Here, the reaction developed will be downwards. And what will be the value of this? The value of this is 3E by 3 EI by L cube. So, here also it will be 3 EI by L cube. Similar to that, here also I need to push it up. So, this is 3 EI by L cube. If you have to push it up here, it has to come down here. So, 3 EI by L cube. This is how is the diagram for your reactions developed in the span AC and CB because of the dis vertical displacement delta 2 in upward direction. Okay. Now, let us write the stiffness values. First, I take K12. K12 is what? If you are applying unit displacement at 2, what are the forces developed at 1? So, 1 is a moment. So, at the C, there is a moment here, there is a moment here. See, this is a clockwise moment, this is a anti-clockwise moment. So, for this, it should be positive, for this, it should be negative. Okay. So, 3 EI by L square for span AC minus 3 EI by L square for span CB. Now, let us substitute. This is 2 EI, see here 2 EI, 3 EI. So, whatever length and whatever EI is there, that we need to substitute. 3 by 5 L 
होल स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री इंटू थ्री ई आई बाय हाउ मच टू बाय फाइव एल होल स्क्वायर सो ऑन सिंपलिफिकेशन व्हाट विल यू गेट फिफ्टी ई आई बाय बाय थ्री एल स्क्वायर माइनस टू ट्वेंटी फाइव ई आई बाय फोर एल स्क्वायर सो ऑन सिंपलिफाइंग दिस फर्दर यू गेट माइनस फोर सेवेंटी फाइव ई आई By 12L square. See, this is nothing but your K12, whatever you have found. It's a diagonally symmetric matrix. So whatever K12 you get, the same K21 will you will uh, get in this case. Okay. So we have already seen here. See right? K2. Now let's find K22. Now for K22, what will you see? That nothing but giving unit displacement at two. What is the force developed at two? So here we are giving upward displacement. If you observe. I see there are two reactions, one at this part of the beam and one another at this part of the beam. Both are upward, so both will be positive. So it will be 3e i by l cube for the span AC plus 3e i by l cube for the span what CB. Now do the substitution. 3 into 2e i by how much is the span 3 by 5l whole cube plus 3 into 3 e i by 2 by 5 l whole cube. So this will come up to 250 e i by 9 l cube plus 1125 e i by 8 l cube. Again, on further simplification, you will get K22 as 1125 e i. By L cube. Okay, so this is your K two one final K two one, and this is your K two two. Now substitute in your thickness matrix. That's it. So here, what is the value one two? So what is the value of one two minus four seventy five E I by L Square twelve L square, and here it is one two one two five e i by L cube. So what is the value here? We just check two one is same as this, but here this is how much sixty five e i by L sixty five e i by L. This is how much sixty five e i by L. This is minus four seventy five e i by twelve L. Square. So what you can do is you can take e i by l cube common. Okay. So now only l is there. So on the numerator l square will come. This is two. So 65 l square by two will come here. Here what will come? Minus 475 l by 12 will come. Only one l will come because l square is already there. So this is again minus 475 l by Well, and the last one will be what? One two one two five. This is one two one two five by seventy two. After your calculation, I am just writing it. So if you if you just simplify this in your calculator, you will get this much. Okay. So by seventy two, this is your final K two two for this particular deal which is given. Now you can do till here or or you can just stop it till here. There is no issue. Okay, so basically it's a four into four matrix. If you observe, it's a di diagonal symmetric matrix. So in the next uh, class, we'll solve one more problem with a different EI and see what will be the difference. Thank you.